Hey guys, it's Harv, good to see you. So I've been filming these short thought videos on the sofa in a picture profile made by the YouTube channel Extra Shot that were designed for the A7 III to simulate a kind of FX9 S Cinetone match. Followers of the channel may have seen a couple of weeks ago I put out a video called how to set up the A7S III for fast workflow videography and I showed those settings in that video. An extra shot commented and said this. Great video, nice and clear. Just so you know, these profile settings to match the FX9 are okay on the A7 III, but won't work so well on the A7S III. I've now posted updated settings for the A7S III. <laughs> That's not what he sounds like at all. That's just the voice I do for everyone. But hey, there are new settings that he's made for the A7S III, so I thought in this video, I'll try them out and see which looks best. Let's do it. Before we do, a couple of days ago, I put out my review of the Sigma 35mm f1.4 art lens for videography use, and I'm very proud of the video, and I definitely recommend checking it out. I'll link it below for you. And of course, if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button. That means the world to me, and it means you won't miss a video. So this section of the video is shot with the old settings designed for the a7 III, and I've really enjoyed using them. All I need to do is just a little tweak to the contrast here and there, maybe a touch of saturation. So those are the tweaks I make in post. Let me turn them off now, and this is what it looks like straight out of camera. Still pretty good. It doesn't really take a lot of work to get it looking pretty pretty cool. But let's turn it back on now because it just looks better. And I'll show you the settings that Extra Shot came up with. Do it. I've got this profile set up under PP9, but of course that's entirely up to you. So the black level is minus 10. The gamma is set to Cine 4. The black gamma is set to wide and level minus one. The knee, aka your highlight roll off, is set to manual, point 100% and slope zero. The color mode is set to pro, saturation minus one, color phase minus one, and then color depth, your red is set to plus one, green to plus two, blue to zero, cyan to plus one, magenta to plus one, and yellow to plus one. Finally, detail, I always set this to minus seven. So now I'm gonna switch over to those new settings and see what they look like. So here we are, this is what it looks like straight out of camera and you, the first thing you may notice is it's slightly brighter and that's because we switched to Cine 4 where the minimum ISO is 100, whereas it was 50 before. When I make the same tweaks that I do for the other profile in editing to the saturation and contrast, it looks like this definitely an improvement and I quite like it. When you watch the extra shot video on this, and you definitely should because it's really good, they, there's special attention paid to the white balance and doing a custom white balance and that's what I did before shooting either of these profiles. I used a grey card and did a, a custom white balance so it should be absolutely perfect. So definitely let me know which one you prefer, definitely try this one out for you, definitely head over to Extra Shot, check out the video and give, give him a subscribe. He won't ask for them himself but you should because it's a really great channel. Of course these profiles can take a little bit more of a stylized grade on top. Given that you're coming from a place of very nice accurate color and pretty good contrast you can build off that and get something that looks more stylized. So here's, here's my grade and hopefully it looks a little bit more gritty, a little bit more moody and uh, I like it. So there we go, what do you think? Do you think Sony should just hurry up and give us s Cinetone in a firmware update for the A7S III? Like ExtraShot said, the more people that try and imitate s, s Cinetone, they'll see that they can get pretty close and to be honest, they should just hurry up and give it, give it to us. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this fun video. It's just for entertainment and I just hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll catch you next time. Cheers.